Hello, hello, hello. Doesn't look like I have anybody here yet. Um, this is Aggie with Artist Heart Studio, and I am visiting today. Um, Elizabeth said that I could hop on here and share with you the free lesson that I'm gifting to all of the members of her membership. I'm very excited about this, and I'm going to be talking to you about how it's going to work. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Jane. Hi, Lynn. Oh, Elizabeth, you're here. Hello. Hi, Rima. <laughs> hey, Marcy. Hi, everybody. Um, so, yeah, I had to wait a moment for my furnace to turn off. <laughs> it's pretty cold here in Wisconsin. I'm going to I'm going to pan over and show you the view out my my window. Hi, Marcy. Look at all that snow. Hopefully you don't see the yellow snow from Charlie. <laughs> but yeah, it's I mean, I guess I can't complain too. Hi, Linda. Hi, Leona. Can't complain too much. I understand people uh, in like Pennsylvania are talking about three feet of snow here. Um, the snow, it's like a little cavern path when we walk down the sidewalks in my subdivision. The snow is at the top of Charlie's back, and he's a big dog. <laughs> so um, anyway, thank you, thank you for uh, joining me. So here is uh, my Monet's Garden, one of my Monet's Garden paintings. Uh, I filmed this class, I don't know, about a year ago. Hi, Mary. And um, it's up it's on my Podia website, that's my learning portal. And I take you through step-by-step step how to paint this painting. And I actually have this one, the reason why it's framed. <laughs> sure, Karen. Um, I, have, I, I have a cousin, well, I used to have a cousin, she's passed away with the same exact name, Karen Brown. <laughs> um, at any rate, um, this painting usually hangs in my bedroom. That's how much I love it. And um, I'll show it a little bit closer. It's got some gold um, metallic paint on there. I don't know if you can see that. And um, I did use some paint pens and things like that, which I don't know that I mentioned that in the material the supplies list. But uh, I've been looking at this painting. I do love it. But I've been thinking, wouldn't it be cool to put, you know, glass on it, uh, you know, and resin it, you know, maybe not this exact version, maybe another version. And you can see on my little sofa behind there that I do have another version. Let me see if I can pull this over. So I do have another version over there. Now that one is, um, well, may as well get it out. This one is a simplified bridge. Uh, it, it was actually a mistake, but it wound up being a happy accident, you know. And this one's varnished already, and I actually love how it turned out. So you can do yours either way, landscape or portrait, and you can do it, you know, the real, the real way. And, and how, by the way, how do you say it? Is it Giverny? I can't, I probably don't say it right. Giverny? Giverny? <laughs> The Japanese bridge, you know, in France, you know, <laughs> that's what we're painting. And um, so here are some other versions of it. This is an eight by 10. Oops, I'm going the wrong way because I have my camera flapped. I have taught this class in person for years and I've done many different versions of it. Here's an eight by 10. Here is a 12 by 12. Well, I really just focused on the lilies and the lily pads. Um, slightly different, you know, colors. In the online class, I'm going to show you there are a couple of fun exercises to loosen up. I take you through that step by step, and I hope that you'll actually do these because it really helps you warm up, gets your body warmed up, your hands warmed up, uh, gets you in the right frame of mind, and there's also some little like affirmations on there. So this is a watercolor version. So this is in the online lesson that you're getting. And um, here are just some more versions of the painting. This one, sorry, I just can't seem to get centered. These are just more subdued colors. There's no right or wrong way as far as the color palette goes with this painting. 
you can really have fun with it. This was a private party I did it uh, in a family's home. <laughs> Here's another one. Here it is on a 12 by 12, and you can see it works. It works in the 12 by 12 format. This one is a 16 by 20. Um, another slightly different version of it. You can see this bridge is pink. So maybe you want to do yours pink. I don't know. Here's another crazy version. Hello, Dorothy. Here's another version. Um, it's the kind of thing where you can just go back in and layer different colors uh, till the cows come home, as they say, right? <laughs> um, and here's a totally different version of just lilies, right? So those are all the different versions. And um, let me just show you this. I did include the link um, in this post, but I thought I would, um, you know, do this. And if you wanna take a screenshot, let me center it, let me pose. Let me strike a pose and take a screenshot to remind yourself, because here's how it's going to work. So let me explain how it's gonna work. The class is available, it's up there now, and you have access to it. All you need to do, pretend like you're actually buying the class. I don't know exactly when the screen comes up where you have to enter the coupon code. I think it's, I think it's at the point where you would enter your credit card information. If you need to, go ahead and, credit, and enter your credit card information. You're not going to be charged anything. And then when you get that coupon code, I think it's at the top of the screen, this is what you're going to enter. You're going to enter in GLASS COLLAGE, one word, all caps, just like that. And you won't be charged anything at all. And then you'll have immediate access to the class. Isn't that cool? So the idea, the way it's gonna work is that you've got till February 17th to go ahead and paint your Monet garden. And then I'm gonna go live. Elizabeth's gonna let me come in here again. <laughs> and I'm gonna join you live here and demonstrate what I wanna do as far as putting glass and resin embellishments on this painting. Isn't that cool? And, um, just to give you a little, I haven't done it yet. I haven't even practiced cutting any flowers, nothing. I haven't done anything yet, so, but we've got plenty of time. Um, but I have a feeling I'm gonna use gold. And um, the idea is that um, we wanna create a nice path for the eye. Oh, <laughs> oh, my pleasure, Elizabeth. You're so sweet, it's, that's my pleasure. So, um, the idea is when you're, when you're painting, you know, when you create a work of art, you want to create a path for the eye to follow. You want to bring the eye into the painting, and you want to keep them there and kind of create a circle of interest. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. You're so good for me. <laughs> you want to create a circle of interest, kind of captivating them, and then even maybe a path back out. And the way we're going to do that is when we add the glass and resin and the sparkle later. But some of what you do, I want you to keep in mind, and I don't have this mentioned really in the actual video lessons. Um, good morning, Elisa and Pam. Good morning, good morning. But what I want you to keep in mind, keep in mind that path for the eye. How does your eye come into the painting? And is there is there a little bit of involvement? Like if you look at this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the text away so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. And if you look at this one, more than likely your eye comes in from the left or the right, probably comes in this way, comes around and kind of looks at all this and goes back out. It's very hard to know subconsciously what actually goes on with the viewer's eye, but we can kind of guide them by the shapes and the contrast that we use in our painting. So just keep that in mind. The eye will follow a hard line as opposed to a soft line. So that's the reason why I suspect that any viewer looking at this painting, their, their eye is gonna look, follow this. And then what you wanna do is bring their eye down here to enjoy all this beautiful stuff. This, I call it a tapestry of flowers. And you can kind of see how the eye goes like this. And, and really that's it. It's a, it's, it's a pretty easy painting actually. 
you're going to discover that it's a lot easier than it looks. It really is. So let's see if anybody has any questions about anything that I've said here. I'm gonna show this once again. Hi, Lori. I'm gonna show this once again. Um, the goal would be for you to go ahead, um, access the class at your leisure. You can watch it any, I'm keep, this is crooked. You've got, you know, all month really, and beyond actually, you know, you'll, I'll keep this coupon active uh, forever. I don't need to turn it off. I, I just ask that you only keep it for yourself as a member. This framed painting, this is a 16 by 20, and it's one of those open frames. I actually had it laying around. It was a different color and I painted it white. These two are 16 by 20s, yeah. And um, so yeah, the idea is to um, for you to go ahead and <laughs> I still can't line this up for you to go ahead and and um, paint the painting so that you're all ready to do the glass and collage portion with me um, on the 18th so I'm going to be coming back in here on what day of the week is that I didn't write that down do you know Elizabeth I'm not remembering um, I'll be back in here on the 18th was it a Wednesday? I'm so bad. At 1 p.m. Central. And I think it's CDT, Central Daylight Time. Is that what we're saying now? Or is it Central Standard Time? It's I'm in the Central Time Zone. I'm in Wisconsin. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's going to be at 1 o'clock. And it's probably going to be, um, I think that what I'm going to do, it's a Thursday. Thank you, Elisa. Um, I'm, probably what I'm going to do is... Um, Talk, I'll show you how I cut the pieces. Oh, Elizabeth says it's a Wednesday. Central time, yeah. So it's the 18th. I don't know if it's a Wednesday or a Thursday, sorry. It's February. So I'm probably gonna show you how I cut it, although you guys probably can figure it out. And um, I'm probably gonna have the glass positioned on one of these paintings. I think I'm gonna paint another painting. I think I'm gonna do another one like this, a 16 by 20 vertical. I'm not gonna show you me painting that. You don't need to see me painting that one. I'm gonna go ahead and create another one for myself just for the uh, collage, the glass and, and resin. And then that'll be the one that I have my glass arranged on. Sandy says February 18th is a Thursday. Oh. Oh, you know what, you're right. You're right, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry. I think it is supposed to be on the 24th. I just can't look at my calendar at the moment. I'd rather give them more time. I made a mistake. <laughs> sorry. I looked at January. Is that what it was? Okay, thanks, Rima. So sorry, you guys, for the confusion. We're going to do this on the 24th. Let me, let me write over this. Yeah, yeah, it's the 24th. <laughs> so the follow-up class is gonna be on the 24th. Yeah, the schedule says the 24th, very good. Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm, easily, I'm easily confused. Um, but anyway, so does anybody have any questions or anything? Does this make sense? Um, and you know, when you go to my website, it'd be great if you subscribe, go ahead and subscribe, you'll be updated, you'll get updates and things like that. I don't really do a ton of emails, I'm not going to bug you too much, but if you're a subscriber, you'll get my, um, my bonus lessons. I'm going to start doing bonus lessons that I send out exclusively to subscribers. So I'm working on, a, on videos on that today, as a matter of fact, which is probably why I'm so confused. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll give it another minute and see if anybody has any questions or anything. And, um, and if not, I'll let you guys go. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm one of those people that does a variety of things. <laughs> I've got people asking me if I'm going to do a, the sunflowers class. I'm probably going to do that eventually. Um, this one that I did over here. Oh gosh, this is heavy. 
I'm probably going to do something on this because uh, only because I've had some people asking. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> That's okay. I almost went to church on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, that would be something I would do too. <laughs> Shelf. So if you don't have gold glass, yeah, I think you're going to have fun with it, Jane. If you don't, you probably, does everybody have the gold, um, the gold, let me go grab it, the gold glass? This is, I mean, I haven't even used this yet. Oh, 10 pounds, Sunstorm Gold. <laughs> so yeah, I've been dying to use this. I think this would look really good on there. And I've also got some turquoise um, glass and, and all of that. I think that's gonna be fun. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I missed the first 10 minutes. Yeah, oh, thanks, Elizabeth, for updating her. Okay, so yeah, that's how it's, that's that's what's going on here is I'm giving a, I'm giving you guys a gift of a free class. It's from my teaching portal. Um, my uh, website is a Podia site, P-O-D-I-A. Yeah, it is fire glass. And um, it's like Kajabi, only much more affordable. <laughs> and, um, you can name it your own uh, domain, and my domain that I chose is Artist Heart Studio. So I'm Aggie from Artist Heart Studio. That's where all my online classes are. And I have this class there that's been up there. I did it about a year ago. It's called Monet's Garden, and that's what I called this. And um, I forget, it's got like 10 videos, and it's got a couple of warm-up exercises. And I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. So the videos will take you through the lessons step-by-step, step, how to paint this painting. And um, what I'm suggesting is that you, you know, you've got all month to paint it. And then on the 24th, I'm gonna hop back on here live and show you my version of how I would add uh, glass and resin to it. So that's it. That's what this is all about. All right, you guys, that's it. So I'm going to let you go. Um, have a great day. And I can't wait to see you again on the 24th. Bye.